Good day, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome back to my channel. On the previous video, we were trying to talk about the shell basics, which we completed. In this very video, we're going to talk about the shell permission. I'm actually going to take my time to explain in details what shell permission does, how it works, and to use it and not to use it, and everything that has to do with shell permission. So let's open it and see what the content looks like. Right, right here, it is very, very essential and important that you read those resources, the permission resources. It will be very, very helpful. And then try to check your man, the manual of those commands, as it's gonna be very, very useful as you progress with the program, okay? So let's get straight to the task and see how to use commands. Okay, the very text here says, my name is Beatty. Create a script that switches the current user to the user Beatty. You should use exactly eight characters for this your command, plus one character for a new line. You can assume that the user Beatty will exist when you run your script. Now, I want to take note of something. It is one thing to write a program or answer questions, but it's another thing to answer those questions smartly and as fast as possible. I'm going to give you tips on how to do that right now. Just look at this very task. You are asked to write a script, and in that script, you should have only eight characters. Now, looking at this, the script should change the existing user or the current user to Betty. That means you will need Betty as a user you want to switch to. And now Betty has five characters. You are left with three characters. Between Betty and the command you will use, you have a space, right? That space makes it six characters. Now, we are left with only two characters to complete that command. Now, that simply tells us that in here, I will need a command that has two characters, added with Beatty, and then that completes my task. So let's go to the um, commands we have to use. Now, if you look at these commands here, we have SU and ID to be the only two characters. That means that task will be centered on either SU or ID, but we don't know which one is the right command to you. So for that, we're going to launch our sandbox, then click on our web time. Now, the first thing you need to do here is to change your directory to ALX system engineering devil. All right. Let's do that quickly. Enter. And now we have to create our directory called 0x0 shell permission. So let's copy this. Then paste it right here. Then we cd into the directory we just created. Okay. Now, right now, since we know that we can either use SU or ID, we need to check which of those two commands would actually solve this task or this problem for us. So we come back here and then we man SU first. Now, if you look at this, SU says run a command that substitutes user and group user. That means it changes. Substitute means to switch, to change between a particular user and the other. Okay. So let's look, let's check out the other one, man ID. Okay. Here, ID prints real and effective users and group IDs. Now, if you look at this, this one prints while the other one switches. All right. So let's look at the question again. Now, looking at the question, it says, Create a script that switches. So that means SU is the right command. I think we're done with that. So we can simply open VI. Let's copy the file name 0 I am Betty. And of course, press here. Then inside here, we write the Shiba. Ash slash. And then SU Betty. 
we can save this hold on wq if you are using vi the next thing you want to do is to grant permission by using chmod i will explain that later and then the file name enter you can check your code everything's going to work fine for that very task we are done with that so we move to the second one second one here says who am i all right write a script that prints the effective username of the current user now if you come to the commands you're supposed to use if you look through it very well you will see something here who am i it's just a common sense things a task has something to do with who am i first without having to check all through this i'll first check on this very one that is closely related to the task what is the work of who am i so let's get back here and then man who am i Enter. now who am i it prints effective user id looking at the question again the question says write a script that prints the effective username so if you look at this it simply means it is the same function it has something significant to do with what we are looking for so the problem is solved here well, let's get back here hence we can vi then copy the file name who am i we press that here enter then our shiba bin bash who am i okay escape wq seven exit and then we grant permission chmodu plus x and then the file name enter you can check your code push your code rather and then check your code everything's gonna all right the next one here says write a script that prints all the groups of the current users of the current user is part of okay now this actually has to do with group so the first thing that comes to my mind is is there any command that has to do with group from that command listed so we simply go back there and check now if you look through this you can see there's a command here called groups so with common sense this simply tells us that something it can have something to do with groups or this grp because this is still group also this is just shortcut and this is the full spelling of groups so let's first of all find out this that is closely related hence our man groups enter now it says groups prints the group a user is in all right so looking at the question again now it says write a script that brings all the group the current user is part of so this question and this description meets our target that means we've gotten the answer all right so we can simply quit this and then vi you can see how easy this task looks if you really understands how to go about it okay and then you paste it right here don't forget your shiba all right escape colon wq chmod to grant permission u plus a don't panic i'll explain all these concepts later in the video okay two group okay and check your code everything is going to work fine all right the third one here says write a script that changes the owner of the file hello to the user called betty now look at this change owner all right so you simply go back there to find out if there is any command that looks like that this is chmod change mode sudo it's actually used for a super user the same thing applicable with this this is chow and this is change owner own is actually used for owner and ch is a short form of change that means our problem will be centered within this word this command so we can use this to find out man what is chmod sorry own okay so this actually says that we should change file owner and group and then we look at the synopsis it tells us how to actually use it you can use chown and the options option represents the flags which you can attach to 
the command and then you actually write the owner of the file either the owner or the group then after that you write the file name so it's going to be like this change owner who owns the file and then which file do you want to change all right so with that we can simply go back to the queue and then the vi into the file name it's called um new owner okay and then our ash bin bash enter now chown does the command who owns the file if you can look at this the project the owner of the file is betty and the file name is hello please be careful of that all right the owner of the file is sorry it's betty and then the file we want to change ownership is hello all right and then we now can save our vi colon wq all right and from here you can change your permission chmod u plus x don't panic like i said i'm going to explain all this in details then the file name enter you can check your code after git push everything is going to be fine all right now the code one it says write a script that creates an empty file called hello i think we've been doing this task several times so i'm not going to spend much time i'm not going to do this entirely it's something you can do so let's keep that one it just to touch hello that's all and the fifth one here says write a script that adds execute permission to the owner of the file called hello okay this is where the execution thing the permission thing really plays all right so if i want to use this video to explain the concept what this permission means what it does and why i should apply it it's going to take us real time like the video is going to be very very lengthy so i'm going to pause this very one here as part one in the next part i'll first of all take time to explain what the mission means how you should use it the little mathematics that surrounds permission then when we're done with understanding permissions we can come ahead or rather go ahead to solve the remaining task okay that's going to be all for this video see you in part two Bye for now. Ensure you subscribe to this channel, share, and also like. Don't forget, please like this video. And all my videos are posted lately. Thank you. Have a lovely day. See you in the next part.